friends welcome to basic electrical youtube channel so we are doing a uh, lectures on module 4 so in previous lecture i explained the concept of rotating magnetic field uh, that is very much important to understand uh, today's topic that is explain the working principle of three phase induction motor so this working principle regularly they are going to ask in examination so i am explaining um, as per vtu syllabus Okay, see uh, whatever I explained, it is uh, sufficient to write for university examination. Okay, but if you need more knowledge on working principle of three phase induction motor, you can see the animated lectures. Okay, available in YouTube. Okay, working principle of three phase induction motor, you search in the YouTube. So you can see the animated uh, videos. And along with that, if you need much more knowledge, uh, in detail, working with for three phase induction motor, uh, refer NPTEL lectures. Okay, uh, they have explained with uh, very higher level. Okay, so for university examination and all, um, you need to write in a basic level. Okay, that is sufficient. So whatever I am explained, you just follow that. You can easily understand the working with for three phase induction motor, and also you will get full marks in examination. So let's start. Explain working principle of three phase induction motor. See, motor means what? Electrical to mechanical. But they had a word I. I is nothing but induction. Induction principle will be there. Okay. But when this uh, when this principle will occur in the induction motor, that we can now discuss in detail. So now, since it is a motor, we need to give supply, electrical supply to the Input. input to the motor will be electrical. So in motor, induction motor we have two parts. One is called stator, other one is rotor. Stator will have windings. Whenever stator is excited by three phase supply, okay, why I am giving supply? Because motor electrical input. Okay. Whenever stator, whenever stator is excited by supply, it is going to produce rotating magnetic field. How it produces? I already explained in detail in previous lecture. It is going to produce rotating magnetic field at a constant magnitude of pi t is equal to 1.5 times of pi m. The speed of this rotating magnetic field is denoted by ns. ns is nothing but synchronous speed. ns is nothing but synchronous speed. Understood? So, consider Stator acts like primary and rotor will have conductors. The rotor conductors are primary, secondary. So now if I give supply to the primary, the winding carries current. That current produces a magnetic field. Whatever the flux produced in the stator, okay, and that flux going to link with the rotor conductors. Whenever stator flux cuts the rotor conductors, EMF will be induced. That process is called mutual induction. Okay. So as per this concept, mutual induction. What do you mean by in, uh, mutual induced EMF? Whatever the flux produced in one coil links with the neighboring coil. Okay. So based on that principle, uh, this figure one basic principle is mutual induction. We are giving supply to stator produces rotating magnetic field. This magnetic field cuts the links with the rotor conductors and then EMF will be induced. That induced EMF in the rotor, okay, since the rotor conductors are short circuited, the EMF induced in the rotor circulate current in the rotor conductors. So whenever current flow through the rotor conductors, around the rotor conductor magnetic field is created. So that is what I wrote in the uh, figure 2, when rotor is excited okay till here figure 1 and figure 2 mutual induction process will be there okay mutual induction process so it is called induction motor okay got it so whenever emf induced in the rotor that induced emf circulate current in the rotor conductors whenever current flow through the rotor conductors around the conductor magnetic field is created so i wrote a clockwise direction represented by cross anti clockwise direction represented by dot so for so this direction can be determined by 
or right hand thumb rule. Okay, based on that we can write the direction. Initially you can write uh, clockwise only. Okay, this is rotor is excited. Now figure three is in a practical induction motor both. See, rotating magnetic field is also called stator flux. Okay, RMF is also called stator flux. And what I wrote here now, this is also called rotor flux. Okay, but in a practical machines, both uh, practical induction motor, both stator flux and rotor flux occur together. Okay, so figure 3 what I wrote, both stator and rotor flux acting together. Okay, so combine figure 1 and figure 2, then you can write figure 3. So this is RMF direction. See, I have written some upward direction here. Means, it produces rotating magnetic field. That rotating magnetic field keep on rotating around the rotor conductors. Around the rotor conductors keep on rotating. Okay. It is also act like a rotating stator poles. Okay. Got it? So now, important is, now I want to explain motoring action. Okay, got it? See, look at here. Now, when you will get motoring action means, when both the rotor flex and stator flex, both flexes interact together, then, then it experiences a mechanical force. Okay, that force acts on the rotor conductors and hence rotor will run. So, let me see how the diagram looks when both the flexes are interacting together. So, that diagram is very important. So, I am going to write here. So, look at here. Very, very important. See, this is a stator. Okay. Stator. And this one is rotor. See, now look at here. On left side of the rotor conductor, see, whatever I written, red line, that is magnetic field around rotor conductors. That is called rotor flex. Blue lines. That is, uh, that is called stator flux. Okay, blue line is stator flux, and red lines, red circles are rotor flux. See, on left side of the conductor, rotor flux direction is upward. Rotor flux direction is upward, and stator flux direction is also upward. So, on left of the conductor, both the fluxes are helping each other. Rotor flux and stator flux are in the same direction or helping each other. Therefore, what happens on left side of the conductor, more flux gathers. On left side of the conductor, more flux gathers. That we can write like this. The flux distribution, the overall flux distribution on left of the conductor look like this. Okay. So, it is going to be look like this. You write in such a way that straight cross like this. Okay. Next, similarly, look at on the right side of the conductor, on the right side of the uh, rotor conductor, see, stator flux direction and rotor flux directions are facing opposite to each other. See, this is coming top to bottom and this is going from bottom to top. So, both are opposite to each other. So, therefore, what happens due to interaction of Stator and rotor fluxes on right side of the conductor, many fluxes will cancel each other due to opposite direction. Okay, but still, but still, there will be small amount of flux will be there. Little bit of, little bit of still flux will be there due to interaction of rotor and stator flux on right side of the conductor. Not hundred percent all the flux will cancel. So definitely some five to ten percent flux will be present on right side of the conductor. See now, this left side of the conductor is called high flux density area because more flux gathers no, on left of the conductor that is represented as high flux density area. Next right side is low flux density area. LFDA is low flux density area. Okay, got it. So due to this, see overall, overall uh, flux distribution looks like a stretched rubber band okay so this entire structure looks like a stretched rubber band okay s t r e c h e d stretched 
okay otherwise uh, you write the word stretched rubber band another word is catapult you have played some games in the catapult okay catapult or catapult so it will be in v shape okay and put a stone and apply force okay this part is called high flex sensitive area if you release that that stone going fall with four where force is zero okay so re releasing that that is called high mechanical forces exerted okay got it so due to that we going to experience the rotor conductors okay going to experience a mechanical force mechanical force is exerted mechanical force experienced or exerted mechanical force is experienced see where that force going to act the force going to act on the rotor conductor itself okay so this is a rotor i am going to write separately here so this is a rotor okay see the rotor winding this is the rotor only one conductor i have taken here whatever i whatever is there here the same thing i wrote here see now when this high mechanical force okay is exerted from high flux sensitivity area towards low flux sensitivity area so due to that force the motor runs okay motor runs means not motor is running in motor rotor will be there okay so that's why you should write here rotor rotates rotor rotates rotor rotates denoted by letter n speed of rmf speed of rotating magnetic field denoted by ns keep in mind in induction motor there will be two speeds one speed is speed of rotating magnetic field other speed is speed of the rotor okay got it see when mechanical force act on the rotor conductors then rotor cause to rotate whenever rotor rotates then motoring action takes place that's it so this is all the induction motor works so i will give a summary okay when stator is excited by supply it going to produce a magnetic field rotate it going to produce rotating magnetic field okay that acts like a rotating poles the rotating poles revolving around the rotor conductors and the rmf is also called stator flux this stator flux going to link with the rotor conductors whenever the flux cut by the conductors emf will be induced in the rotor winding and since the rotor winding is short circuited whatever the emf induced that induced emf circulate current in the rotor conductors that current produces a magnetic field sorry for our disturbance produces a magnetic field and that magnetic field shown in the figure 2 okay this is called rotor flux in a practical induction motor both will acting together that is what i wrote here but motoring action takes place keep in mind motoring action takes place only when interaction between rotor and stator flux okay so on left of the conductor both the flux directions are same therefore more flux lot of flux gathers on left of the conductor on right of the conductor rotor conductor both the fluxes are in opposite direction and cancel everything but still a little bit of uh, flux will be there on right of the conductor that we can call it as low flux density area so the overall flux distribution looks like a stretched rubber band or catapult due to that it experience a high mechanical force from high flux density area towards low flux density area so that force cause to rotate the rotor in some direction okay if the phase sequence is r y b the rotor rotates in clockwise direction keep in mind the direction of the rotor okay should follow the direction of rotating magnetic field okay keep in mind direction of rotor direction of rotor should follow 
should follow direction of direction of rotating magnetic field okay got it now the difference between synchronous speed and the rotor speed is called slip so what is slip significance of slip everything i will explain in the upcoming lecture understood guys okay working principle of three phase induction motor you must write all these four diagrams and whatever i explain what you understand you write it in your own words but you write heading for figure 4 figure 4 heading is interaction of interaction of rotor and stator flux interaction of rotor and stator flux got it okay dear students after writing uh, the diagrams four figures okay you have to write some explanation in paragraph okay so i'll give i'll uh, give some uh, uh, flow chart how to write explanation whatever i explained here you write in a paragraph that's it okay look at here stata so we are giving supply when stata is excited by three phase supply okay what it going to produce it going to produce rotating magnetic field this rotating magnetic field is also called stator flux okay the speed of rotating magnetic field it rotates at a speed called ns so when stator is excited by supply it going to produce rotating magnetic field and this rotating magnetic field okay cuts the rotor conductors this rotating magnetic field uh, cut the rotor conductors cuts the rotor conductors cut the rotor conductors after when this rotating magnetic field cut the rotor conductors then what happens emf will be induced in the rotor emf is induced emf is induced in rotor so what is this action from year to year till it is called mutual induction okay this action is called mutual induction okay means stator acts like primary rotor acts like secondary whatever the flux produces in stator also links with the rotor that results into emf induced what is that action mutual induction so now whenever emf induced in the rotor this induced emf circulate circulate current in rotor conductors circulate current in rotor winding okay rotor winding so we know that whenever current flow through the rotor winding what happen magnetic field is produced so rotor flux is produced okay rotor flux will be produced so next next part i will writing here when rotor flux is produced then what happens interaction of the two fluxes interaction of see pi s means stator flux and pi r means rotor flux interaction of pi s rotor flux and stator flux what happens experience a mechanical force it experience a mechanical force it experience a mechanical force so this force what happens cause to rotate rotor this force act on the rotor itself and cause to rotate rotor okay what is the speed of the rotor when the rotor rotates that is called motoring action motoring action takes place we given electrical supply in the input side what is the output side motoring action in between induction is there so it is called induction motor see if you know this points i hope you can easily explain this everything in a paragraph don't write like this in exam you explain this logic in a paragraph okay so that you will get full marks understood so what is the speed of the motor when when cause to rotate the rotor that rotor runs at a speed called n okay understood 
five. So this much is sufficient uh, working principle of three phase induction motor. Keep in mind they are going to uh, one more point you can add it. This direction of speed uh, rotor rotates should be same as direction of RMF. Okay, but never become the rotor speed never become uh, speed of synchronous. But rotor speed tries to catch the synchronous speed. Okay, so that everything I will explain in next class. So in one video it become lengthy. Okay, guys. So please give a like to our video, subscribe to our channel. Okay, not yet subscribe and become a member to watch the video lectures of each modules of basic electrical engineering. Okay, have a nice day. Take care. Meet your next lecture. Construction of three phase induction motor. Sorry, slip and its importance, slip and significance. Lecture number four. Bye bye. Take care.